Welcome to the Art of Hitting channel. Today we're featuring a little short clip from uh, the dugout behind the scenes with the interview of Ed, uh, Ed Rose by Dan Carlson talking about why the dugout was started and what's the uh, philosophy and goal and mission of the dugout. So uh, let's listen and uh, enjoy the short. Sure, Let's absolutely. Transition to that. What's the? What's that say? Dugout on there. We got that. Look at that. Dugout. The, dugout. Uh, and that's a pretty cool shirt for all those of you. And you can see that shirt on Ed Rose. Yeah. Uh, those shirts are for sale for yeah. forty dollars. Forty dollars. And ten dollars that, which is the the profit margin, uh, goes to the FSSA, a federal charity that uh, I run. Which is pretty cool. So, talk about the dugout. Why? Why do the dugout? What is the dugout? Well, the dugout, uh, yeah, and we'll roll back to why we do the YouTube channel, too. And yeah, what we're going to, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, why we do the dugout? Well, uh, why not is the first answer. And, and what do you mean by why not? Well, uh, who's doing that in softball? Who's doing that? Uh, uh, I want it, I think it, I think it is very synergistic what we're trying to do with uh, uh, the YouTube channel. The art of hitting, yeah. but in the concept of getting on tape and record the history of softball. What we just talked about, most people don't know the history of softball from wooden bat days. Yeah. And then the people involved, like a Mike Masingo's Bruce Mead, look, out at Post Road, I wanted to put Bruce Mead on the front, and the guys that I was talking to said, well, why don't you put you on there? We know you. We don't know Bruce. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, I never take, I, I never take an opportunity to get my face on something. <laughs> but I appreciate for them guys, but they didn't know him, and I, I think that, I mean, that's the, the, you know, I mean, look, though he's the greatest guy of his time, but I'm playing right now with the Venom players that are 75 and and, and some are 80. The greatest player, now you know, the, I guess, I guess as you age, the concept of greatest player changes. Hmm. Because the greatest player now is not six foot seven and uh, two hundred and sixty pounds and can hit it six hundred feet, you know. Uh, it could be a guy five eight that hits seven hundred and runs and throws just like he did when he was a kid. Hmm. Now that's a great player at seventy five and eighty, dude. Yeah, and, and you know. It, it doesn't have to be as good, but he's still a great player, right? Yeah. And that's the reason we play, to yeah. get old yeah. and to keep us going. Yeah. No, we, we had a conversation off record, and uh, you asked me about who the who the greatest players were in Canada before my time, and I, the answer was I, I have no idea. Yeah. I, know, I, know, I know the people who are today that are my age and some younger. That's what I like about the channel, is that we're going to record the history for this for softball, for others to reflect on one day, you know what I mean? Yeah, nobody, that, nobody that's, else that I know is doing that's that. exactly what the, the the dugout's all about. Plus the fact uh, of uh, giving us the opportunity to talk more. <laughs> 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 no, but we've had a lot of interesting guys on here. And, yeah. and look, the other thing about the, the channel is um, like this, you know, Stu Weinstein mm -hmm. that we had on. Guys wouldn't know Stu Weinstein from Johnny Appleseed. Just like they don't know you and me from Johnny Appleseed, you know what I mean? Yeah, look, there's people that are ultra famous that people don't know. You ain't gonna, you just you, you, it's it's kind of a compliment if you're known by your uh, your circle, yeah, your softball circle, if you will. Um, Stu, he was he was the first uh, U.S.A. president of the of Florida, mm -hmm. you know, and. Very influential guy in, in, in the start of softball, and now you know he's got a memory like Mike Masinko. Hmm. Uh, so we brought him to light, and no one would know about him if we hadn't brought him to light. Yeah. You know, and uh, so it, it, that's it. We're we building a foundation for slow pitch softball where it's started and where it's gone. It's it's just crazy. Mm -hmm. You know, the full I, interview yeah. can be heard on Spotify sometime late in January. Um, 
it's uh, a, a lengthy interview over uh, 60 minutes, so you have to enjoy it either in parts or uh, when you're on a long trip. So there's a lot of great interviews on Spotify. More to come in 2014. Don't forget to look at the Art of Hitting YouTube. All kinds of videos are coming out all the time. And please hit subscribe. We're going to be over a 1,000 soon with your help.